Like the rhythm section of a jazz band, the instruments of 17th century continuo, theorbo, organ, harp, harpsichord, baroque guitar and others, are those who guide and sustain the whole body of voices and instruments, the ensemble, according to Akatsari. There's no conductor, of course. It's the continuo who guide the ensemble. Their role is to maintain the slow, steady swing of the tactus, about one minute in beat per second. Giulio Caccini describes a practice where 17th century singers would sing senza misura, before or after the beat, rather like a jazz singer. The historical assumption is that the continuo maintained the tactus swing, and this is what Monteverdi notates, for example, at the beginning of the aria Possente Spirito from his opera Orfeo. But today's continuo players are often required to follow singers, even when those singers haven't learned the composer's rhythms. The result has no swing and is musically meaningless. For the modern continuo player, it's rather like that fairground game where you wait, rifle or theorbo in hand, for a little yellow duck, the tenor, to waddle into your sights. You then fire off a chord and hope to hit him in root position. But that cannot be what Monteverdi and Caccini intended. The assumptions of early 17th century music are that rhythm is a high priority, that there is a steady tactus, and that this tactus is maintained by the continuo, even in what Caccini calls lo nuovo stile, the new style of monody, which we rather anachronistically call recitative. So, which is appropriate to Baroque music? Tactus or duck shoot? At the foot of the title page of Agatzari's treatise, there are two Latin mottos. One shows a diagram of the cosmos, declaring that armonia, which in this period means not only harmony, but music in general, in particular well-ordered, goodly music. Armonia comes from movement, the perfect movement of the stars and planets, the regular swing of tactus. The other motto, captioning an image of the serpent in the pit of hell, warns, and they don't mess up either. Let singers enjoy Caccini's Senza Misura, but don't expect continuo players to mess up the tactus. Here's a two-note ground bass in steady tactus. The rhythm section playing steady rhythm. And the singer moves around that as they like. Sense of following it. Summer 